Hello commanders and welcome to a new episode of the Rise of Austria series. In today's operation, Operation Poseidon, where we are going after a huge giant of this game. The next giant is going to be the United States of America in day 39 of this game. After we destroyed all of the coastal city of Brazil, now we are heading straight in Operation Poseidon to the coastal cities of the United States of America starting from the city of New Orleans. A reminder in New Orleans there is a naval base level 4. Another reminder we planted a lot of intel agents in the United States of America. So later on we are going to uh, discover what kind of levels and what kind of army United States of America possesses. We need to gather intel about him so we have an idea and uh, we fix a strategy how we are going to proceed with Operation Poseidon. This is the situation in the Middle East. Chaos. A lot of insurgencies, a lot of uh, rogue states. Here I am trying to uh, survive these uh, rogue states roaming all over these regions, but my national guards, they are being overwhelmed. Finally, we have a footstep in Africa from the gateway of Oran and also Tangier from the gate of the Gibraltar Strait. I landed with few national guards, but my other stack has... Um, Mobile SAM launchers, mobile radar and multi procat launchers. I have more multi procat launchers under production, so I will send them to Africa whenever they are ready. But my priority here is to build an airbase or an airfield to be able to uh, operate successfully my air force in Africa. Of course, we saw in the last episode that uh, Brazil is building a lot of army uh, armies in Africa. He has a lot of annexed cities, especially he's making a lot of motorized infantry. So when he sees that I am coming to take Africa, he will retaliate and he will try to defend his uh, continent. Here I'm trying to upgrade my cruise missiles. I need more damage from my cruise missiles and more hit points for sure. Here are my ships that are at the gateways of New Orleans. I am going to initiate Operation Poseidon. So I am going to advance carefully near the uh, city of New Orleans and see what kind of uh, naval vessels we are going to discover because 100% America is going to leave some naval defenses there. So here my elite battle group is going to lead the way because uh, cruisers, they do not have sonar, but my admiral officer, he has sonar. So in case there are uh, submarines or something, my naval officer, he will be able to spot them. I'm trying to uh, get as much lands as possible here to finish this war versus Cuba. Uh, a reminder also that the Iberian Peninsula was under the rule of uh, Cuba, United Kingdom also. So I'm trying to send my National Guards and motorized infantry to different directions to be able to get as much lands as possible. Now we are at point 1,503. Okay, there is a naval radar in front of us. And it is a sonar, sonar contact. You see, this is why I always move my elite battle group on the first line because he will be my vision for uh, attack submarines. And from the notification, it was an attack submarine. So he is making submarines and um, well, this is going to complicate things a little bit because like that, I will not be able to operate cruisers alone. So I will need always to escort my cruisers with my elite battle group. But I believe now it's too late to make naval patrol aircrafts because now I am in the middle of Operation Poseidon and um, researching and making naval patrol aircrafts is going to take a while. So I will try to manage only with my uh, task forces and also with my naval admiral. Okay, we killed the attack sub. Good, two hits is enough to kill an attack sub. Um, let's now bombard the city of New Orleans. It has level 4 army base, level 4 uh, naval base, level 5 armies industries. He annexed the city of Merida also. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the armies of United States of America. Let's go. Okay. Um, 
Well, he has level 3 mobile radars. Okay, he has level 4 attack subs, level 4 frigates, level 6 destroyers. He has level 1 ballistic submarines, boys. And he has max level cruise missiles, level 4 ballistic missiles. He has chemical warheads. He has a tanker ace. He has a naval officer. And he also has an infantry officer. And more importantly, he has heavy bombers. He has heavy bombers, multiple rocket launchers, and mobile sum launchers. Basically here, United States of America has a perfect army, a complete army, he has everything, he has everything, yeah. Those heavy bombers, they will be able to bombard um, Austria all the way from America, he can. If he um, upgrades his heavy bombers to level 4, he will be able to bombard Austria all the way from Washington DC. Well, I need to... Um, I need to be on standby because I do not have a lot of Ontia in Austria because I sent my mobile sum launches to the African front But I have strike fighters there so in case I put them on patrol And also another good thing if uh, United States of America is going to try to come to me with heavy bombers I will see him crossing all over France and uh, Spain etc because uh, like that I will prepare my strike fighters to intercept him but yeah, it was a good thing to discover the armies of uh, United States of America and like I said, in day 39, United States is still alive so that means that he will possess a huge army, he will possess a huge army. Yeah, this battle is still continuing, it's still going on and it's going to be more and more hard and more... But at this level, it's going to be hard to take down the Austrian Empire. You see here? Uh, a max level ballistic missile is going to have um, 23 hit points and my anti-missile now level 2 anti-missile in the city he has 12.5 uh, defensive so with the damage of attack and defense one anti-missile is going to be able to intercept a ballistic missile but if he triggers on the air it's going to be complicated and he might destroy me so I need to spam more and more anti-missile systems because he has the elite submarines uh, no ballistic submarines and ballistic submarines they can get close to Austria and he can start raining ballistic missiles on me so now my priority is to bombard all of his coastal cities like that I will stop his naval production I will cripple his economy I will cripple his mobilization and after that I will uh, try to block him from getting to me, but what is going to happen boys? What do you think is the best approach to destroy America? Do I have to land on his homeland cities? Do I have to wait for him? Because you know now I have 1503 points. It's enough to take Africa and I win this game on solo and he is attacking me with heavy bombers. Look at the notifications boys He is attacked attacking my elite battle group with heavy bombers. What did he lose? He lost one attack submarine, two heavy bombers, three motorized infantry. These are the, uh, the casualties of America. Well, I hope Operation Poseidon is going to be 100% successful. Operation Poseidon, the mission of this operation is to bombard all of the coastal cities of the United States of America and also hunt his naval ships. Uh, of course, we are going to consider the attack submarines and also we are going to consider the surface vessels because we saw he has level 6 destroyers, they have the range of 100, also he has level 4 frigates. So basically the cruise missiles, if he has a lot of frigates level 4, the cruise missiles, they are not going to be that useful in this case. And also cruise missiles, they are not going to be useful against uh, submarines. So in this case, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to uh, be forced to do proper naval battle without using cruise missiles. I'm trying to spam more and more national guards to finish off these lands ASAP. There are a lot of lands after my battle versus Cuba and Brazil now, so it's going to take a while to uh, gather them up. But guys, I'm sad to say that we are at the end of today's episode, Operation Poseidon. We are going to meet in the next one and see what is going to happen between Austria and America. See you guys and bye bye.